Nine years ago, I designed this Citroën Toot CV Charleston in big scale and then published the building instruction. At this time, I used parts that were widespread but are now hard to find and the more time goes, the more difficult it is to build this car for people. So, I decided to completely rework this model by revising the design, replacing the overpriced parts and redoing from scratch the building instruction to fit the new quality standard. Today, I will present you the original model from 2014 with some design secrets and then show you some improvement I did. Let's get started! This LEGO Technic replica is based on the Charleston model from the 80s with the lovely black and red color gym. It uses the motorcycle tire of 82mm which gives a 1 to 7.5 scale for 50cm long, 20cm wide and 22cm height which is pretty big. It enables me to fit all the functions I want to reproduce, for instance the complex suspension system. Indeed, each wheel is mounted on an independent arm which is connected to a linkage mechanism to compress the shock absorbers under load. Then, a rubber band connects the two wheels on one side together to reproduce the original connection in the car. On the front suspension, I had a soft shock absorber directly on the arm to support the heavy weight of the front. Speaking of the front, there are interesting functions about the drivetrain. First, I reproduced the front wheel drivetrain with CV join and differential which drive a 4-speed gearbox placed above the axle which gives then the motion to the fake 2-piston engine. Fun fact, the diameter of the yellow LEGO piston, which is 8mm, it has the correct scale compared to the original which were 74mm for 600cc. What a tiny engine! The gearbox is operated by the lever above which is connected to a sliding rod to the dashboard as real. The steering is operated by a rack and pinion solution, which is connected to both the steering wheel and the head of God. The head of God used a quick coupling composed of a triaxle connector and pulley with tow ball to be easily separated when you remove the bodywork. Because yes, the bodywork can be removed in only one piece, as real, revealing all the technical parts of the chassis. Before going to the openable element, I would like to talk about the headlights, which are adjustable. Indeed, it is mounted on screw gearing mechanism, enabling to adjust the position with a lever on the dashboard. To finish, there are several openable elements, first with the four doors, but also the hood and the trunk with a spring-loaded lock. Then, you can remove all the seat as real for a nice picnic. As you can see, this model is full of function, but it comes with some drawbacks today. Indeed, at this time, I used widespread parts which are hard to find today. For instance, the soft axle in 11, 14 and 16 module long in red, or some connector like the red toggle joint, or the motorcycle slick tire, which is way too much expensive today. But the most problematic part was the 9.5 module long shock absorbers, which are now impossible to find at a correct price and in quantity because it needed 8 of them. That was the main reason I wanted to rebuild the model. So I did, here is a new version. For the suspension, I used the 6.5 shock absorbers which are easier to find at the correct price and have roughly the same downforce with 1 kg per spring. I modified the linkage mechanism to fit the shock absorbers inside to get the same stiffness. I have removed the rubber band which connect the two wheels on one side because the effect was negligible compared to the spring. On the bodywork, I have removed all the problematic and expensive soft axle to replace them by smaller version with connector build connection to compensate the length, as well as remove the toggle joint. To finish, I have replaced the Racing Fred motorcycle tire by the studded version. They are not very cheap, but has the advantage to be released in 6 previous sets instead of only one. 
It is for sure uglier, but this is a compromise we have to accept, especially since I need 5 of them. Yes, there is a spare well in the trunk. It results in an economy of 40% on the price of the part, and I am quite satisfied with this number. When all the modification was made, I started reworking the instruction. Don't get me wrong, the original instruction from 2014 was good, but I have some minor error and more importantly, I did not make it, so I have not the original file nor the software to correct it. So, I decided to rework the instruction from scratch and took the opportunity to increase the resolution to 300 dpi, as well as rework the way the instruction is made to fit the 2023 quality standard. It results in a 300 PDF page instead of 85, with part list, flexible part, highlighted part for each step, and white edge on dark part for better readability. You can see some examples here. But more importantly, it enabled me to easily swap the color and regenerate the instruction, which was not possible before. So, instead of reworking and proposing only the Charleston model, I also create a plain red version and I think of creating other like the white or the dolly version. I am still working with Belkemok to propose this new version and possibly the red one in a single package including all the parts and the building instruction. This is a good example of how an old creation can be modernized by today's standard and I hope it will enable more people to build this iconic car. In any case, if you are interested by the rework model, the new color or the new instruction, please follow the link in the description to my website to know more. Let me know in the comments what do you think of this rework. Take care, play well, bye.